Good evening everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Shy Dreams. Over the course of the last few weeks, um, I have been making videos or updated videos to promote XISO um, for fixing Xbox or XMU games. Um, and basically, there's an easier way. Um, we got Bill Miller which I'll pop his um, statement up. Um, he did leave a comment under one of the videos, said that the video was okay, but it was, you know, it's something that's a lot easier and a lot simpler, which makes sense. I mean, that's basically what we're here to do is to make everything easy and simple for everyone. Um, this is the program, it's XDVD Mullet Beta 10. I told him that I was gonna try it, so this is the video. Um, I've played with it earlier today, and I definitely do think that this is probably easier than It's just a point-and-click thing So all the links will be down in the description. I did take the liberty to get a game um, To test it So we're gonna load the disc It's Aeon Flux so double click it. And it doesn't work. Okay, so I'll shut this down and we're gonna open up the program. Like I said, all the links and everything will be down in the description. This is a way simpler. There's no typing, you don't have to go to PowerShell. You just point and click. So in this case we want to rebuild an ISO, which normally which we would do with X ISO, so we're going to rebuild it. So, click the next button. We're going to browse for the game. Here we go, AI Flux. We're going to hit open. We're going to click the next button. Um, out of all these options, what I found to be the easiest is to create a standard ISO which is the third option on the list. So you click next. Then here we go. We know it's a valid disk because it said it found it, it was valid. Then we're gonna click next. Um, you can cl click this option here at the bottom where it says quick style double optimization. And then the other thing that you wanna click is make as small as possible. I mean, I understand that we probably have big hard drives, but why waste the space if you don't need it? So you click the next button, and you tell it to make the ISO. It'll change the name for you. You don't have to do anything. Like far as like with the X ISO, we had to like, you know, type the name out and all that. It does everything for you. So then you click the save button. And that's it. Tell it next. Go back to the main menu. You can close the program. And then you can open up the Xbox emulator. We're going to load the disk, which it does have the name that it was changed, and we'll click open. We hit the reset. So much simpler. A few more clicks. Can't really go wrong with it. this helps out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And then I'll try to help you as best I can. Alright, take it easy.